Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with... Beth over How the Mermaid. That's right. <laughs> and Yvonne McNear. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. That's right, we're here for Halloween 2014. Mm -hmm. Beth's already dressed up. Yvonne and I are going to be joining her in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So t Beth, tell us about your costume. Well, you know, as you know, I spent uh, six weeks this summer down in Puerto Rico on a little island. There were about six different beaches that you could s snorkel and swim. Mm -hmm. And I made it a point to snorkel or swim every single day <laughs> while I was there. Even the rainy days, there'd be a way to get down there and swim with the turtles and swim with the, the uh, sea fans and the beautiful underwater uh, coral, all that. Mm -hmm. And it just accidentally happened wow. that I turned into a mermaid. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what will happen to you every time. <laughs> I, just, well, you know, mm -hmm. I, I was bewitched. That's what it was. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, Riley's here with us, too, because you know he likes fish. I'm going to watch out. He's <laughs> like, wow, that's, you look tasty. <laughs> What's his favorite fish? <laughs> whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Only whatever he can. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> So is this the first time you've been a mermaid? It's the first time I've ever been a mermaid. Through the years, different things. My mom was notorious for dressing my sister and I as a couple of something. One year we were a couple of beatniks. You know, back in my early youth, you couldn't go to Walmart and buy just about any costume. And there was a few things you could buy and accessories and that sort of thing, but you couldn't buy a uh, full ensemble of anything. You had to make your own. And another time, I, I was the big sister, but I dressed as the baby and had a little doll in a bottle. And my little sister was dressed as the mommy. Okay. You know, okay. this was something else my mom did. And, mm -hmm. and just that's how it was at our house. There, she would sew these costumes, and we had them for a long I, I think this last yard sale I had, I still had a few of those costumes <laughs> trying to oh. see if somebody didn't want them. That your mom had made for you. Mm -hmm. she had made did you guys ever win any prizes for your costumes? Never did go to um, any contests or anything uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. it, it was, and trick-or-treating back then was different. You know, mm -hmm. not that I'm that much older than either of you, but enough <laughs> that we did not have the schools to go to or the churches to go to. We actually right. did the neighborhood trick-or-treating. Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you yes. do neighborhood trick-or-treating? I could have. <laughs> and I, and I gone. No, I, I basically went to relatives' houses. Oh, okay. I just yeah. went to the relatives and back home. And back home. Mm -hmm. Where I grew up was uh, <laughs> a lot of the houses around us were older people. So my sister and I would go and we'd get really good food or candy and stuff because we were like the only kids that would go to their house. So they were we getting some good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then once in a while we'd go around to the neighborhood not too Park far away. Or that had, yeah, the favorite. Well, another neighborhood that had mm -hmm. younger families or whatever but and I think every little town has its Spalding Avenue Campbellsville's Lebanon Avenue even now you know mm -hmm. the, they still have the schools and the churches having their mm -hmm. big trunk or treat kind of things and the, it, the right. down them businesses mm -hmm. do their little thing but mm -hmm. there still is that one strip of houses well a lot of people still do yeah. that. go door to door trick or treat right and, they, and fun, some yeah. do both they do right. they do it all much as they can yes well trick or treating is going to be on Halloween this year in mm -hmm. our different communities and as we were talking about with the different businesses, in each of our areas, Bardstown has their downtown trick-or-treating from 3 to 5 p.m. right mm -hmm. on 3rd Street there. Mm -hmm. So you can go to different nice. businesses and kind of yeah. get some stuff there. Do adults dress as well? Yes. And children? That's, that's, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Exactly. It's that's fun. <laughs> all-encompassing. Yes. So you can go to the different businesses right along 3rd Street there. And then you can also go to Halloween in the Park that evening at mm -hmm. Dean Watts Park in Bardstown. In Springfield, I believe it's a... Uh, Four thirty till six o'clock. They're having their. Is that what I? Yes. Um, no. Four to five thirty. Excuse me. From four to five thirty, Springfield is having their Main Street trick or treating. Mm -hmm. So they'll have and that. And that's right. massive. Yeah, they have a big Most, turnout for that. Yeah, they do. And then aren't they going to the park? Or and they then go to one of the churches. In, uh, in Springfield. Uh huh. Is there one at the park? They're it's been at the did, church did you know? before. Mm -hmm. When I've been there to tape, there's mm -hmm. been. Um, a church that that has a little contest and the kids at the in. Christian church the right Christian there church. on uh, uh -huh. Main, Main Street, Street they have uh -huh. a contest that's uh -huh. part of their trick-or-treating mm -hmm. thing yeah. and so then in Lebanon they have a Halloween in the Park that's 530 till mm -hmm. 7 here at Grand Memorial Park in Lebanon too so and then Spalding Avenue is, is like your all's the Lebanon right Street. in Lebanon they have yeah. a, uh -huh. the people yeah. out there too yes. and in each of the different communities because like, cause like mm -hmm. in Bradfordsville they have sure. a big turnout down there too yeah for all of them but that they have the opportunities for the kind of structured 
uh, trick or treating. <laughs> well, it controls it a bit. It gets it uh, uh, under control where the kids aren't out too late at night. I can remember again, and I think it was before I was 12, when they mandated you couldn't go trick or treating in costume after you were 12 years old because of the tricksters. You know, the, the 13 year olds and the, the older the kids uh, were causing trouble. And toilet, toilet paper in trees or whatever. Yeah, that's the day before. <laughs> Tricksters around. I don't know if those rules still stand, you know, today. But there was a period of time um, adults even weren't encouraged to, to dress really? up. I mean, you could wow. your own home. So no adult mermaids. No, not back then. <laughs> There's, only well, one There's, right. There's only one There's death. That's right. There's only death. one death. Yes. What was your favorite costume when you were a kid? Do you recall? Hmm. I was a scarecrow. Scare I think I was a sailor like. once that was fun, a little white sailor outfit with a little hat and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was kind of fun. That's cute. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, that was probably my, my most memorable okay. because I also used that same costume to sing at a talent show. So I remember uh, it. You know. What did you sing? I sang from South Pacific. Uh, my doll is as dainty as a sparrow. What's the name of this? Honey Bun. Honey Bun. Honey yeah. Bun. <laughs> As a little seven-year-old kid. <laughs> sing it, honey bun. We'll have to get you to sing that sometime I should, for should us. I really should. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. Let's see right. if we can find that costume. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sure you'll fit it. Absolutely. Right, there you go. <laughs> I need to add a little bit more material. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a different and, kind of show. And speaking yeah. of songs, do either of you know Halloween songs? Actually... Uh, when I was in college, I was going to, I was studying to be a teacher if I wasn't going to work in TV. So oh, okay. <laughs> I fortunately never ended up being a teacher. But I was, it was for secondary education and history. Or I was going to teach history in high school and stuff. But I got all these, uh, for when I was doing student teaching, I got all these songs that were set to traditional Christmas carols, but they had Halloween lyrics mm -hmm. to them. Oh, okay, okay. I don't remember any of them. No, no. But <laughs> that's only Halloween yeah. songs. I remember singing some Halloween songs in school. Huh. I know. used a few. But I can teach you. After you all are in costume and in the mode, we can, I'll teach you a couple, and we can teach our audience a couple of little songs if you'd like. Mm. That'd be swell. Yeah, swell, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> so you should gather together your children, your grandchildren, and, and they could sing along too. And anticipate that. Yes, that would be indeed. Tons yeah. of fun. Being <laughs> called a song by a woman dressed as a mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> and what are you going to be dressed as? Yeah, what are you dressing as? Oh, I'm not telling. It's, it's a secret. Will we surprised. recognize you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nobody recognizes me. I drove all the way here and nobody waved. <laughs> I can't believe that. Running. Nobody Everybody wave, waves. Waves. Yes. Whether they know you or not, they <laughs> wave in Lebanon, you know. It's just that kind of town. When you drive by. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I was looking and there are a list of the best places to actually celebrate Halloween. Mm -hmm. Oh. Here in Central Kentucky is a great place, obviously, to do it. And there's lots of opportunities in all three of the communities that mm -hmm. we serve to enjoy, go out there and get stuff going. But there are five places that were listed as the top places to celebrate Halloween. The number one was Sleepy Hollow, New York. Oh, I can oh, see that. Yes. Which has seen a real growth in uh, tourism due to because the TV show, that. Sleepy Hollow TV show that's on. Have you watched that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have to. Yeah. That's a pretty good show. Yeah, it is. So is it more scary, though? Do Because as I was driving up to Channel 6 on the hill here, it's close to a cemetery, and I was thinking, ooh, we should have done this show sitting in the cemetery, you know. But then you got to be in the right costumes to go with it. The Sleepy yeah. Hollow, you think the... You'll think a mermaid ghost with a Not cemetery. so well. I'd like to be a vampire mermaid. Ooh, that's a story okay, nobody's there you done. There you vampire go. mermaid. Vampire mermaid, that's something. That's a story. Yeah, I'm that's sure there's an audience for that. Zombie mermaid. There you go. Zombie. We'll have to write Zombies that. Really Everything is a zombie now. So yeah, really back good. to Sleepy Hollow, do you think that, that that they don't have any of the ice princesses and Cinderella's and all that? It's all Probably. scary. But I'm sure they have their share of headless horsemen as well. Yes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they go around. Or he, or was it horseless headsman as on the commercial? Yeah. Horseless <laughs> <laughs> headsman, big head, wa big head walking Just around. Just walking around with uh -oh. the horse. <laughs> Headless horseman, uh -huh. right? No, or horseless, horseless, horseless headman. headman. Horseless headman or something Heads. like that. Yeah, horseless headsman. Yeah. Because uh. it's just the big head walking around. Oh, okay. With no horse. No horse. No horse. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah. Number two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is Salem, Massachusetts. Okay. Oh, yeah. Have you been to Salem? Yeah. No. I've no. never been there. No. I've been there. 
I was actually kind of I'd like to go. Not even Salem, North Carolina. <laughs> been to either been Salem. Any, any Salem. Me either. I've been to Salem, Massachusetts, and I was expecting more witch stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have a museum, but the museum wasn't what you well, fantastic. And, you know, I may have missed some stuff. We stayed, which is kind of interesting, at the Hawthorne Hotel. Oh. Which Nathaniel? an episode, uh huh. It's based, well, it's, well, it's named after him. Uh -huh. Right. But an episode of Bewitched was shot there. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of Bewitched, I hear there's gonna they're gonna rejuvenate it with her daughter now, T uh, Tabitha. Uh -huh. It's gonna be the new Bewitched. Really? Uh, come a new series. So we'll oh. keep an eye out. Yeah. I always liked that as a child. I really wished I could be a witch. Huh. I can never move my nose. Like that. <laughs> I know. It. Yeah, it's like Tabitha. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Number three is Key West. Oh, that, oh, I can see that too, and they I imagine those parade. costumes are just a little bit odd or off Unique. the wall. Yeah. Unique and fun. You uh, may see a mermaid or two. I may see a mermaid or two, yes. <laughs> a little more flamboyant than I am. Oh yeah, Key West. <laughs> number four is New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense I would too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And number five was Tucson, Arizona. Figure that one out. Because there's a large Mexican population and they have a celebration of the festival of all, si all souls. That's right. All souls, yeah. on the now, do they do it so the next day? You think? Well, actually, they're not in sure. Catholic religion, uh, the first is All Saints Day and the second is All Souls Day. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so Saints it would be the really next really next day. Mm -hmm. But they celebrate stuff on Halloween. They have Halloween. big and the Day of the Dead. That's really big, right, you know, with those right. things. Yeah. So. So that's what they're saying. We should do some time a, a, a zombie challenge and, and challenge people to meet us all somewhere. And a zombie challenge? How zombie would that challenge. go? People show up looking like zombies and... Had to have a contest so uh -huh. you could be more zombie-like. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. That'd be funny. That'd be interesting. <laughs> or a zombie, a zombie 5K. A zombie 5K? Why not? Yes. We could challenge the school board, they have city one council, in Louisville that fiscal has a huge court. turnout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could challenge some of our, we, yeah, fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Okay, Absolutely. We'll, we'll work on that. That's, That's something right. new and different. Right. If we don't do it, you got yeah, The top right. 10 Halloween costumes mm -hmm. for this year. For this year. For this Can year. you guess what some of them might be? One of them is probably the ice um, princess. Um, frozen. My frozen. frozen. That's frozen. number one. Very good. One. Mm -hmm. The frozen characters. Mm -hmm. Disney princesses are number 10, which I guess doesn't include Frozen. They're kind of different yeah, categories. Right. Yeah. Number nine, zombies that you're talking Zombie, about. Of course, zombies. I'm surprised it's nine. I kind of figured it'd be. Farther up there. Yeah, further up, yeah. Well, I think this is kids. Okay, yeah. So maybe some kids don't want to be Zombie. scary zombies. zombies. Yeah. Yeah. They'd rather be heroes, yeah. which is good. We want them. Superheroes. Heroes. Although we were talking before with uh, Jimmy, who's here with us doing some uh, Carol works. I would say thank you to Jimmy for being here. And his daughter is going to be Annabelle, the, the da. Sister. No, not from Frozen. The oh. da that's from The Conjuring. Um, oh, and the horror that's movie. A scary. Yeah, that's scary. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> so they they like the scary. Yeah, they they like How old scary. Is she? She's nine. Nine, nine years old. old. Yeah. Nine years old. So yeah. she likes the scary yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, number eight, Monster High. Monster. Characters, which is a TV yeah. show that I'm yeah. not familiar with. Number seven, Cirque de Bur Burlesque. Cirque de Cirque, like Cirque du Soleil, except the, it's I guess burlesque. It's, yeah, Cirque du Soleil huh. burlesque. But I guess it's Cirque de, yeah, it's uh -huh. burlesque version uh -huh. of that. Burlesque version. Well, that's sort of a surprise. Hmm. Well, those costumes are, are really oh, they're good. they're really nice. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. really good costumes. But I just don't know where the popularity would be coming from. There's not yeah. been a movie on it lately yeah. or anything, is there? I don't know. No, I haven't seen one, but that doesn't mean it's not out no. there. I mean, I could see it in yeah. Cirque du Soleil is really great. Everywhere, I love yeah. those costumes. Yeah, oh yeah. I guess and burlesque. Yeah, yeah, and the quality, you know, of that, along with you know doing it for Halloween, I guess it would be a really nice costume. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Number six would be superheroes. Right. That's kind of a category yeah, of all different that. superheroes. Sure. If you were going to be a superhero, which one would you be? Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Because he could do so many things. Well, that's true. That's true. You can oh, gee. That was boring. Come on, y'all. Give me somebody. Who would you be? Who would you be? There aren't very many for mm. women. Mm. Probably. Unless you'd be a female version of. Female version of something. Let's see. Um, Wonder Woman. Yeah. See, there's not just many. That's you can say Wonder Woman, and I can't say okay. Superman. Superman, that's vintage. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Who would you be? Uh, well, Wonder Woman came to my mind first, too, because that's all really... she can do lots of things. Well, what was Halle Berry's yeah, character? Yeah, that's what I was saying, character. thinking. Some of those characters, we just don't even no, remember their the names. No, the other one. She was one of them. The X-Men. Oh, the X-Men. X-Men people. X-Men people. Yeah. 
She was a super. We need to create some new superheroes that are women. Some super women. We do. We'll work on that too. Yes, indeed. Okay. Well, uh, what's her name? From Louisville, the actress is in the X Men too, and she's Mystique or something like that. Mystique, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. The oh, blue. okay, okay, okay. Right. Yeah. So there, there are some. Of them some out just haven't made the cut. That you just aren't. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds and geeks or spies. That would be fun. Yeah. To do. Mm -hmm. Rainbow ravers. Mm, I don't know what that is. Don't like a rave dance. Rainbow. That's the only reason I know. Like punk rock that. back in the eighties, only now rainbow I think ravers. That's, or that something. wasn't very positive. If you have kids, you may know. No, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> Black and bone, which is Day of the Dead kind of thing, when they uh -huh. paint the face, you okay. know, the skeleton on your face. Uh -huh. Right. I was at an event on Saturday, and there were several people Black who had bone. that. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, minions from yeah. Stickwell Me. Mm-hmm. Little oh, minions. Oh, okay, from okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then the frozen characters are number one. Oh. Wow. Yeah. And minions was two. That's minions was two. Something. Wow. Hmm. Something. Well, stay Rainbow, with us. I mean, yeah. mermaids were exactly. mentioned. Uh, I can't believe that. Oh, I can't either. <laughs> well, after everybody sees you, nobody else would yeah, even try it. Yeah, that's right. Well, they won't even try it because it's so good. Yeah. I oh, see. Good I gotcha. Stay with us. We're going to come back and have some more for you here on Central Kentucky Television.